Jai Shri Krishna fellas, welcome to the second episode of Chanakya in daily life. Here are some advices by Chanakya to better our personal life 1. Waking up the first step of honing one's leadership skills lies in the way we begin our day. Chanakya suggests that one should awaken to the sound of musical instruments. This means that when a person wakes up listening to music, it sets the right mood. It is not just how you wake up, but also the quality of your sleep that matters. A good 7 to 8 hours of sleep is essential for an average person. For those who use an external alarm clock, the alarm sound is crucial. Nowadays, most of us use the alarm clock on our mobile phones. Choose your alarm tone very carefully. There are various ringtones to choose from. Choose something melodious, for example, an alarm tone that is inspired by nature, like the call of birds or the sound of the wind. A loud and heavy ringtone will ensure that you wake up, but in a disturbed state. And if there are others in the room, they too will get disturbed. It is not enough to just wake up in the right mood, one should also carry on in that cheerful mood all day long. Be the source of inspiration to others around you. When you feel good about yourself, you should make others feel good about themselves too. Greet others around you positively. 2. Music for the day Chanakya had used music to develop the personality of a leader. We need to choose our music carefully, as it will invariably influence our personality the right use of music can help us improve the quality of our life. Have a good collection of albums, be it on CDs or MP3 files, on your computer or mobile phone. The more the variety of genres, the better it is. Also, attend music concerts. Keep yourself informed of the artists performing in your city through the newspaper and the internet. Learn a musical instrument or even vocal singing. Participate in some musical performance. And remember, silence is the greatest music. Sit quietly every day for 20 minutes and listen to your soul. 3. Time for thinking The ability to think is God's greatest gift to humans. Other species, too, can think and analyze. However, human beings are far superior in their analytical, logical and creative thinking skills. Intelligence is, therefore, our most extraordinary asset. But we seldom exercise our ability to think. We worry instead. Most of us don't know the difference between thinking and worrying. Chanakya suggests that one should have clear thinking from the moment one wakes up in the morning. Making a to-do list at the start of the day is not enough. One also needs to review it as the day progresses. There is always a possibility of new priorities cropping up, and one may forget to reprioritize accordingly. 4. Health You surely must have heard the phrase, health is wealth. Health is the greatest asset any person can have. If one is healthy, one can do anything. But if one does not have a healthy body and mind, no amount of riches will bring one happiness. But wait, don't just start doing physical exercise or run a marathon right away. Becoming healthy requires a lot of preparation and planning. It's all about training. Training and discipline are acquired by accepting the authoritativeness of the teachers in the respective fields. Set a health goal. Find a teacher. Accept authority. 5. Daily rituals How does one define a ritual? It is generally understood as a religious or solemn ceremony. It consists of a series of actions performed according to a prescribed order. But not all rituals are religious. We wake up in the morning, go to the bathroom and brush our teeth, have a bath, have breakfast and go to work. Most of these rituals are done subconsciously. We hardly put any thought or effort into our daily routine. How does one define a ritual? It is generally understood as a religious or solemn ceremony. It consists of a series of actions performed according to a prescribed order. But not all rituals are religious. We wake up in the morning, go to the bathroom and brush our teeth, have a bath, have breakfast and go to work. Most of these rituals are done subconsciously. We hardly put any thought or effort into our daily routine. Once the ritual becomes a habit, then there's hardly any effort required on your part. As mentioned before, at this stage you start enjoying your routine. Habit can change the destiny of a person and a good habit can go a long way in bettering the quality of one's life. A ritual is all about self-discipline. 
It forces you to do something important on a regular basis. Such daily rituals are healthy for us. 6. Astrology Astrology is connected with astronomy. Both are sciences dealing with planets, space and the physical universe as a whole. Our ancestors were thinkers of the highest level. They knew that the whole world is interconnected. Right from the largest planet to the smallest atom. Nothing and no one exists in isolation. We all are interdependent on each other. Don't depend on astrology now this is my final suggestion and it's totally contradicting what was said in the beginning. Yes, you should explore the realm of astrology but do not fully depend on it. Chanakya says, wealth will slip away from the foolish person who continuously consults the stars. For wealth is the star of wealth. What will the stars do? Capable men will certainly secure wealth at least after a hundred trails. For Chanakya, human effort defines one's destiny. But if a person's destiny is determined by his hard work and commitment, then what can the stars do? He says, he who, continuously, consults the stars is a fool. 7. Afternoon by this time, most of your energy has already been spent on your daily routine. You are semi-exhausted, if not fully drained of your energy. A good lunch and probably some discussion with others helps you rejuvenate. The next two hours are critical. This is typically the lazy period of your day, the afternoon. Chanakya advises, during the remaining part of the day, afternoon, he should learn new things. Have a hobby read a book plan a project meet someone that is basically what Chanakya said, that to succeed in life, one should use one's afternoons productively and engage in new activities. 8. Power nap. Sleep plays a vital role in maintaining one's health. The right kind of sleep refreshes and rejuvenates us. Sleep is now considered a science. Doctors, psychologists and psychiatrists use sleep as therapy for many mental diseases. Take a power nap in the afternoon. Chanakya advises that the best time to take a nap is between 1.30 p.m. and 3 p.m. A quick rest in the afternoon goes a long way. And so with another one and a half hours sleep during the afternoon, a total of six hours of sleep is taken care of. This amount of sleep is good enough for any average person to feel energetic again. Make it a daily discipline now the key to quality sleep is to sleep on time every night. Chanakya had advised going to bed at 9 p.m. make the decision to sleep at a fixed time on a daily basis. Discipline is key. Therefore, the wise saying holds true even today. Early to bed and early to rise, makes a person healthy, wealthy and wise. Thank you.